Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Aries, let's see what's the message here for you today. And um, a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right, Aries. Okay. Somebody is still hoping things haven't ended. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. One more. Ten of Swords. Uh, somebody is feeling terrible. They made the wrong choice, I think. Uh, they f are hoping that things haven't ended. Uh, they feel they lost out on a very stable foundation. Uh, feeling they lost out on um, a long-lasting connection with the choice that was made. I think this person is uh, manifesting a reunion. Even though they know that things are still in troubled waters, mm, they're feeling uh, devastated that uh, whatever this decision is that they made. So I don't know whether Aries, it's you who made the decision or the cross watcher. But let's start the reading with some um, dialogue message cards and let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then I'll clarify these. Aries and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be? Let's take a few more Aries from another deck. Aries and their person. Aries and their person. All right, and just a few more Aries from a third deck as well. Aries and their person spirit. Aries. All right. Good to go, Aries. Let's start the reading. And then if you're looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. Just make sure you specify the country, state that you're uh, emailing from in the title. Okay. So the first card says, I'm scared. You will not accept me now. You're perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. I cry myself to sleep thinking about all the time we've missed out on. I wish I could go back in time and change things. Somebody wants is manifesting a reunion and they want to pull out those swords, I think, which they plunged into their person's back. Always on my mind and in my heart. Yes, that's you. Always and forever. A part of me died when I let you go. I'm damaged and I'm not deserving of your love. I feel ashamed of how I treated you. You did not deserve that. I hope you'll find forgiveness in your heart for me. I get so triggered seeing you do things for the karmic that I want you to do for me. It pisses me off because we should be together. Why are you wasting time for? You are my muse. If only you knew how much you've inspired me. Darling, you are my masterpiece. I wish I could let go of fear to tell you and show you how much you inspire me. Your coded cryptic messages and failure to answer questions drives me up the wall. If you're worried the karmic is going to see, just call me and tell me the F in truth. It's the least I deserve. Love doesn't even begin to describe what I feel about you. There are no words to explain the depth of my feelings. All right. So, Aries, these were some of your messages. And if these were resonating, let's start the reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today blessing, guidance, advice or a message Aries. You are totally protected, totally protected. The heavens are watching all over you. Your angel guides are giving you a little kiss on your forehead right now. So, well, don't worry about anything. You're not alone. I do feel here somebody has messed things up. They've made a very, very wrong choice here. Maybe with a third party or something or put you in a third party situation. So, let's see, uh, let's start clarifying and uh, death card in reverse spirit for Aries, first card, death card in reverse, death card, 
Okay, one more. Somebody tried, tried to create competition or an imbalance could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I have the Temperance in uh, reverse here as well. Uh, somebody was trying to resist, I think, being single or end something and they could have let down an opportunity for something very stable. Uh, Ace of Pentacles spirit in reverse. Ace of Pentacles. Yep. Something came crashing down. I think somebody was resistant to a new beginning. They didn't want to change things or maybe there was they were conflicted about being single or um, I don't know. This is somebody who's who who like didn't take this opportunity there was a brand new golden opportunity in front of them but somebody pushed it away um, this brought an ending right this brought an ending because they refused to change their ways and they were just trying to maybe make people fight for them or compete for them or i don't know what so hermit in reverse yep this person made a very unwise foolish choice they tried to work out something which was anyways not working in their life and that crumbled anyway so now they feel oh my god oh my god i mean i've lost out on a long-term partnership and i made the wrong choice here ten of pentacles yes this person is in deep contemplation deep contemplation they're in hermit mode hangman's zone feeling devastated feeling uh, things have totally stagnated now what did i do what did i do what choice what choice did i make i shouldn't have made that choice two of swords in reverse What's the choice they made, Spirit? What's the choice they made? They, I think, uh, chose to give to more than one, maybe. Or red crumb two people, I don't know. And finally, I think the other person said, okay, if you are making that choice, then I'm making my own choice and I, I'm giving up. I'm exhausted of your indecision. I'm exhausted of your wrong choices. I'm going to give up. I think now the person who made the wrong choice, they do want to reconcile. Yeah, but they're feeling so insecure. Maybe they have money issues or they're feeling, I sh you know, disappointed. Why didn't I invest when the time was right? Now this person could be having money issues or... Um, I don't know what, what is the spirit. Yeah, they could be. They could have financial problems right now. In, even in the thought of reconnecting, this person is not stable right now. Either they are just feeling insecure or uh, disappointed in their own decisions as to, well, maybe turning down a very uh, a very lucrative offer. And they got caught. I think whatever they decided turned upside down on them. So what are they manifesting now, spirit? What's the magician? What's the magician? Then they're manifesting now uh, love in their life. It's like, yeah, now I'm manifesting this new love. Maybe in the past this person had an opportunity and they turned it down right now they are devastated that i think both scenarios if they were hanging on to something from the past they realized that is not working now they are not sure whether you know the choice that they make they can go back to that choice they can go have that ignite that passion again uh, they are not sure because i think they are sensing that the other person who they did not choose has turned their back towards them six of swords in reverse yeah, things are ha, things have been going backwards instead of going forward, and because of this uh, this offer not being given or taken, I think it's led to a huge tower, huge tower where things are totally disrupted now. Um, ten of swords in reverse, spirit. Ten of swords in reverse. They're feeling rather embarrassed, rather ashamed. This person is looking. They're watching, they're looking, they're spying. But uh, I think this person is devastated to realize that maybe they don't, they, they don't belong anywhere right now. Maybe whatever this person was hanging on to didn't work out and uh, the person they never chose, that is not, they're not sure that will work out. This person is very ashamed, very embarrassed, uh, watching, watching, spying. What are they spying on spirit? 
<laughs> the person that they actually love, the Queen of Cups. And this Queen of Cups fell sideways, so they're not even sure whether mm, the other person really loves them or not. Yeah, because somebody tried to play mind games here. Somebody tried to make uh, play mind games. I think this person was was supposed to drop some baggage, but they refused to shut that chapter. They refused to shut that chapter. And then, Spirit, what happened? So nosy. Okay, the other person turned their back. The other person who they actually do want now, Aries, that person turned their back and said, you know what, I'm not going to be trapped in your mess. I'm, I'm cutting those chains off. I'm getting out of, uh, you know, feeling out in the cold. I'm not going to deal with somebody who's always wanting it their way and, you know, never making a decision. So, this is a card of somebody not making a decision. So, let's see what that is. Uh, what's the lover's spirit? What's the lover's? Yeah, they never made a decision. They never uh, even maybe communicated properly. And that's why one of the cards said, you know, the least I deserve is to know what's happening. If the karmic is going to see, at least tell me the F in truth. So somebody, I think, cut off communication because they didn't want to make that choice. And now they're seen, or seen as a trickster. Things are blocked now. Things are blocked. Maybe the other person, this person is spying. Maybe they are seeing that the other person has moved on or is moving on. Maybe moving on to a brand new beginning for themselves. The universe is giving them a kiss on the cheek or the forehead and saying, hey, go fly. I'll catch you if you drop. And they are very scared. They are very, very scared because they know they lied. They know they lied and now they don't know. They have no clarity whether they will get a second chance or not. So, well, that's what I have for you, Aries. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.